Good morning, everyone. So I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I haven't sat down and kind of just like caught you guys up with what's going on in my life. And um, yeah, so I figured I'll do my makeup and kind of talk you guys through what's been going down and what's happening in my life right now. Yeah, let's just get into it. I already washed my face and put my moisturizer on and everything. So what's new with me? Um, I'm moving. So back there in my apartment in Long Beach, um, it's just full of boxes. Most of my furniture has already moved out. I've been here for a little over six months and I don't know. I had very high highs and very low lows. It was the happiest time of my life when I first moved here. It's all like a mental health thing because I know I talked about this, but I um, was seeing a therapist for a little over a year and then I stopped seeing her in June to try to kind of regroup. And I've been doing all these other things like meditating and writing and reading a ton. And um, I don't know, I wrote a list of things to do to cope with sadness or I wouldn't even call it depression because I, I don't think it's depression because to me it doesn't seem so severe. It seems like something that I can control and kind of help myself. It's been a journey. Like when I first moved, I was so happy and I always had people over and I was constantly around all my friends. And um, I don't know, I always wanted people to come over and cook for them. And I was doing brunch like every weekend, making a huge brunch for like 30, 40 people every weekend. And it was so much fun. And that's when I did like the 30 days of vlogging. Um, when I turned 30, I was just super happy. And then after that, um, it kind of tapered off and then I hit a severe low. And I just did not want to go out, didn't want to talk to anyone. I had three panic attacks at the end of June through uh, July when I was traveling. Oh, right before I was traveling, I had my first one. It was insane. And I remember when it happened, I um, it was like the first time I ran in a really long time. And I ran to a smoothie, like a smoothie shop. And I was just inside and I ordered like an acai bowl and I ran a mile to get there and it was the fastest mile that I've done in a really long time. So I was like really happy from it. And then I took two bites of my acai bowl and then I just started bawling like a toddler, like audibly like a toddler, like just kind of screaming. And there were a ton of people around because I think it was like a Saturday or a Sunday morning and it was just insane. And I know how crazy I looked and everyone looked over like, oh my God, is she okay? And, um, and I couldn't control myself. I didn't know what happened. Like I couldn't breathe. So I stood up and left. And um, yeah, I ran out with my stuff and then uh, Caitlin happened to call me and she's like, take, um, take a moment to breathe in for like seven seconds or something like that and then uh, breathe out for four seconds. So yeah, breathe in and then keep repeating that. And she said to stand on some grass. So I did that and I felt fine. Yeah, so that was the first one. I hadn't had a panic attack like that since I was like 22 or something like that. But then I started meditating and that's been helping a lot too. I haven't had one since July, so that's really good since I've been back from traveling. I started using bare minerals again, so that's what I just put on my face. I used to use this when I was in college and I really liked it and I totally forgot about it. Kind of um, started trying new products. Just went back to this and I really like it. I really like how it wears throughout the day too. So when you first apply it, I mean, I think it looks really good and it looks very airbrushed, but towards the middle of the day and then towards the end of the day when it mixes with your oils. It just looks really nice, so yeah, really into it. Oh, I just got this makeup kit from Full Lane, so I wanna try that out today. What do we have in here? There's a makeup white from Ursa Major. RMS Living Luminizer, which I already have, but mine's really old, so it's about time to throw mine out and start using this one. What is this? This is a beetroot cheek and lip tint from Era Perez. Let's see, how you see what this looks like. The color is called Fun. Ooh, it's like a bright pink. This is gonna be interesting. And then a Well People mascara. Very nice silicone brush. I'm gonna put this RMS Living Luminizer on. Um, so Full Lane is a clean beauty retailer. It's kind of like the Sephora of clean beauty. All their products are 100% non-toxic and they restrict products that have more than 30 ingredients. The makeup kit that I'm using is 100% non-toxic and also cruelty-free. I know that clean beauty is very important and it's become a lot more popular recently. And with our skin being our largest organ, a lot of people are concerned about the products that they put on top of their skin because it gets absorbed directly into our bodies, right? So I like that Filane makes it so easy to do research on all the products. I don't have to do a lot of digging, a lot of like research on what products to use, what products are clean, what products are not toxic. A lot of my friends ask me about um, that stuff and a lot of people with sensitive skin can only use clean products. So I always recommend Filane to them because the site's super user-friendly. 
this is a little bit frightening in the tubes, so I'm going to put it on my hand real quick. Oh, it's like a gel. Okay. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and then just kind of put it on my cheeks. So it's like a stain. It's like a very natural looking stain, although the color in the tube looks very intimidating. So this makeup kit is usually $76, but the first 100 people to click on the link in the description box will get 50% off their order. So that makes it $35 and you get free delivery. So just make sure to be quick. All right, moving on to, let's work on my eyes. So I have a thing with using bronzers on my eyes. I have a ton here that I've been rotating between that I wanna show you guys because I just love bronzer on my eyes. So this one is from Laura Mercier. It's a classic bronzer. It's called Soleil Number no. 1. And this is the matte bronzing powder, and whenever I, I carry this around, I actually use it all over my face too, so I do the three motions. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with that on my face. It's great because during the summer, my foundations don't always match my skin, so um, I'll put it on and then I'll throw on bronzer and it kind of blends everything together so it makes it look a, a lot more natural. I'm not going to add this on my eyes today but this color is a really good contour color for your eyelids. And then I also have this one from Laura Mercier which is actually one of my favorites. I reached for this a ton. This is not a bronzer. This is a Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder so it's the darkest skin tone. It's meant as a setting powder but it has a little bit of like a glow to it so I really like it on my eyelids because it just adds like a really nice healthy shimmer. So in comparison to the Soleil in number one you can see that this is a bit more red tone so if I put this on my cheeks it looks almost like a blush as well. It's a good multi-purpose product. And then I have this one from Bobbi Brown which is a matte bronzer. This is the bronzing powder in deep number four. So it's a bit more red than the Laura Mercier one. And I actually like putting this on my cheeks too to use almost like a blush slash bronzer. And then the last bronzer that I've been using as an eyeshadow is this one from Make and it's in the color it's House. Very similar to the Bobbi Brown one, but it's a bit more orange. I really like this as an eyeshadow and it applies and just stays on all day and I think it looks so beautiful. This as an actual bronzer it grabs a bit too much on my skin so um, I have to be very careful and light-handed with it. On a lazy day, if I don't want to use a brush, I'll just use this Glossier Generation G in the color Leo, and it's like a brown color. Um, it's meant for your lips, obviously, and they don't recommend it for your eyes, but I like using it on my eyes because I think it's the perfect color. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this Bobbi Brown bronzer and use it on my eyelids. I'm using this double-ended uh, eyeshadow brush from Chanel. It's great because there's like a shader on one side and a blender on the other, and I just use the blender side. Um, and just kind of sweep it all over my eyelids. And it's super quick. I'm no makeup artist, so I just kind of blend as much as I can. At first it looks crazy, but then you just keep blending. Yeah, so I'm moving back to my old place in LA and I figured it would be a good time for me to get back to work and get back into the swing of things. I started a new job, which has been making me really happy. I didn't realize how much I miss being around people. I'm gonna use the other end and kind of line my bottom eyelids. Um, yeah, I didn't realize how much I missed being around people, so when I started working again and then I was hanging out with my friends afterwards, um, they're like, you have a glow about you, you just seem so much happier and you can see it on your face. And a lot of people have been saying that as well, like my family members. Yeah, it's just really nice to get out of the house and be around people and... I don't know, kind of feel needed in a way, you know? So, I've been coming into County Limited a couple days a week and it's been awesome. I get to interact with people, I get to talk to people. I've been doing their product photography for a while on their website and then one day they're just like, you should just come in and work from the store. You can like edit your videos if you want to. So I went in and yeah, it's just been awesome. Like having a purpose and having a schedule. Yeah, it's a nice change because I haven't had a schedule in like, how long has it been? Like two years, so. I'm really excited about it. Anyway, so I'm gonna put on this. I've been using this eyeshadow from Chanel. It's the Ombre Premiere in the color 820 Memory. And it's like a little bit of a shimmer. Usually I'll do one or the other, but today I feel a little bit extra. So I'm gonna do a bit of both. And it comes with this little brush right here. When I was in Europe with my sisters, um, they were using my this eyeshadow every day. So we were sharing it and they really liked it. So when I went to the airport, I got them each their own. And um, my sister Linda, immediately was like, I don't need this brush. So she gave it to me. So I have an extra one, but I actually love the brush. And at first I didn't really like it, but now I've been using it every day because it's just like the perfect little brush. So it fits perfectly underneath your eyes and 
it smudges everything and then you can blend it out with your fingers obviously it just makes the application so much easier when i use this brush so i'm just gonna kind of smudge a line across the upper lid and across the lower lid and then blend it out a little bit okay so my question for you guys is what do you guys do um to check your mental health like what do you do to make sure that you're okay and if you feel kind of like anxiety ridden or down about something like what do you do to combat that um a lot of people have been asking me about it because i go through so many waves you know and i really don't know what to say because i don't know i think it changes for everyone and it changes for me on a day-to-day -day basis like i always have music on i mean right now i'm filming so i don't but usually if i don't have music on it i just feel like i'm in an empty vacuum and it's really sad and depressing so i always try to have music on i write down everything i always have my phone on me so i write down everything i feel everything that comes to mind yeah i write every day and i used to um carry a journal around everywhere i went when i was younger so it just seems natural to write in my phone you know um i don't always share it sometimes i do i was sharing it for like a good month or so and then it just kind of got grim towards the end of it so i figured i'll just keep that to myself and maybe when things start looking up again then i'll start sharing things again i think writing really helps reading also really helps too also i know this seems so stupid but there are so many funny memes on instagram there's so many like funny videos out there and whenever i watch those it just makes me feel better i've been watching a lot of chick flicks as well netflix has been killing it just in general they've been killing it we have so much good content right now. I really like this brush because it's like a silicone brush, which is what I prefer. This is a dip brow homemade. It's like a cult classic, right? I have the color Ash Brown. I've had it for a couple years now. Actually, Cecilia, I shot a video with her a couple years ago. Or maybe it was last year. No, I'm pretty sure it was a couple years ago. But she used this brow product and she used it from the side. So I started using mine from the side and yeah. Cool, huh? Cool story, huh? I think it's supposed to keep the product a bit more like creamy or something like that. I swear, every time I apply my brow makeup, I always think that there's going to be like some sort of um, muscle memory or whatever, but every day is different, man. <laughs> every day is a struggle. So I'm just going to start off and kind of wing it and hope for the best. Usually I have a mirror that's like super far away, but right now I'm holding a compact, so... We'll see how it turns out. I like standing far away from the mirror because then I can get it relatively even or like similar because sometimes I'll draw one side like super high up. Like this side right here, my left side is always so much better than my right side whenever I do it. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. This one always looks so much better than this side. I hate that. I wanna put on some brow gel. This is the glossy boy brow obviously in the color black. Usually, even if my brows are horrible, if I um, draw them in super crooked or whatever, if I put on brow gel afterwards, it's just forgiving, you know? I'm gonna start with a bit of powder. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of it and kind of dust it everywhere. They actually have a new one that they just came out with, and it's a little bit shimmery, so I'll show you real quick. Um, I'm just using like a powder brush. Yeah, this is just a powder brush. Um, I've never baked. I kind of want to try to use a beauty blender and bake at some point, but today I'm just moving stuff, so it's not a special occasion. Um, this is the Translucent Glow Powder, and yeah, I can see a little bit of shimmer in it. And then they have this new brush. This is the Glow Powder Brush. And what I'm going to do with this is just kind of use it on my cheeks. Kind of like a highlight booster. Yeah, very subtle. Yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for listening and thanks for letting me rant and chat and stuff and kind of update you guys on my life. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. Everyone who wrote notes to me um, wrote emails and um, wrote Instagram notes and stuff and messages. Thank you so much for the constant support and just for checking in. Things have been turning, so I've been a lot more positive and I've just had a much more positive outlook on life, you know what I mean? But also I know that there's always, you know, ups and downs. So there's always going to be a time where I don't feel so great and times where I feel great. And I really appreciate you guys for sticking with me. So um, yeah, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to get back to moving, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.